Quick cardio talking guys, wasn't going to say much, but interesting morning, 7.15, woke up, went downstairs, you know, trying to relax, keep my head on straight, on these no carbs, and my roommates are eating pizza and smoking cigarettes, which last night when I got in, they were eating fried chicken and smoking cigs, and it's just, just weird and difficult to live the bodybuilding lifestyle around people who kind of live the opposite lifestyle. So it can be hard on relationships, guys, and stuff like that, because... You just kind of lose patience, especially when you're eating, uh, you know, dieting really strictly and at a super low body fat. But one thing I want to touch on really quick, I did get a fever at the Europa. I'm not sure when all that footage is going up. Long story short, I'm on antibiotics, trying to stay healthy. The physique is going to make it. That's the most important. I'm going to make it. But uh, I didn't really respond to comments or anything. I probably won't until I get done with a little bit of training footage today. Hopefully I hit the gym. But it was just weird how I uploaded in one day two videos that were the same exact thing, one in English, one in Spanish, and the Spanish one immediately got disliked. So super weird. I don't understand the racism. It seems really, really ridiculous, but that coupled with some hate I've been getting for something I'm not going to get into because it doesn't really matter, some whatever stuff. I'm just kind of sick of the negativity and trolling in my comments section. So I don't want a few bad apples to ruin it for the bunch. You guys know I love commenting to you guys. It's like my favorite part of YouTube. So I'm going to keep doing it, but I'm going to have to ban people who uh, say things like you're a faggot or like fuck you and use really shitty language and I don't know, are just hateful because honestly, guys, like, yeah, it's funny to joke around with your friends and be a dickhead sometimes, but when you're going out of your way and taking up people's time and, you know, in my comment section, I think it's really, really stupid and I'm not going to tolerate that. I think the online coach tube has a right when he says, you know, no trolling, no negative, no negativity will be banned. And I commented on someone's comment and I was like, listen, man, I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm going to have to ban you if you keep talking like that. And he's like, all right, you fucking faggot. Like, and I was like, okay, like very, very strange. So anyways, guys, let's keep it positive. Keep interacting with you guys. Keep making these vids. We got the show in about five days, so let's get there. Peace. What up guys, chilling in bed, it's Tuesday 6 p.m. Got a lot done today. My last cardio session, second to last posing session. Board short fitting, tanned, hit Publix, some air in my tires, had to do that. But, I got a little cardio talking on my last cardio vlog, so it is Tuesday. I had less than 50 carbs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today, so Starting tomorrow, it is officially carbing up day, carb up days. I'm going to do 350 Wednesday, 350 Thursday, about 300 Friday, and then about 200 before prejudging Saturday. So I'm going to update my coach with picks every day, make sure everything's coming in right, but uh, feeling lean, feeling good. Definitely 
feeling really lean sometimes and not so lean others, but I'm getting you this video late tonight because I was planning on training some upper body today, but between errands and how sore I am from this workout you're watching, I know, really sore, I'm taking the day off and I'm gonna have a small carb meal, hit the upper body that I want to make sure I maintain or make sure it's popping on stage tomorrow, and that's it for lifting. So, worked up to deadlifts two big sets, worked up to leg press two heavy sets, one on the hamstring curl, one on the calves, and one on the extensions, and that was it. And surprisingly, guys, which you guys know, if you're training five, six days a week, then you take four or five days off. When you go back, you always hit it hard and you always end up sore. And I could tell this from this workout that I was gonna be kind of sore, but I wanted to feel sore from the back, from my back poses, and my lower back and upper mid back are sore. So all in all, it was good. Let's hit some upper body tomorrow and stay injury free. That's the goal. And I'll see you guys in that workout. Peace. Yes, guys, we did it. Injury free, kept it up. Crazy the leg pump and soreness I got from just that workout, but I can't complain. I've got tomorrow and the, the morning of Wednesday to finish upper body. The armpit held up, hopefully it gets better. So we gotta get some good pumps in Tuesday, Wednesday, no doubt. Peace, guys.